Just finished a nine mile trail run here in Golden, Colorado. I just finished running up North Table Mountain, which is just a gorgeous little mesa here in Golden. Let me show you guys what I ran up here. So the trailhead's right there. Let's take a look. So you head up that little trail and you go all the way up there. Some really cool rock formations up there. So this was my first trail run of the season. And the first trail run of the season is always a little difficult because you're not used to running on trails. And <laughs> transitioning from all road running to trail running can be really challenging, especially if you're not used to trails. And so uh, if this is you, if it's springtime and you're just getting onto some gnarly trails like this, uh, one of the things that you can do is instead of relying on pace, rely on effort because as you can see from some of my splits that I'm gonna show you soon, um, splits up here on the trails when you're running on some serious uphills, when you're running on really technical terrain, is so variable that it's almost meaningless. So just avoid over obsessing about your splits. Uh, and then the other thing too is, uh, let's focus more on how much time that we're running rather than on the distance that we're running. I actually wanted to do about 11 or 12 miles today, but I cut it at nine miles because that ended up being my longest run in terms of time uh, in quite a while. So um, I didn't hit a, uh, a mileage record for my long run today, but I did hit a time record. So I'm not always building up and up in terms of um, my distance, but in terms of the amount of time that I'm spending running, absolutely. All right, you wanna see how variable your splits can be in this kind of terrain? Check out mine. about running on trails where there's a lot of hills where there's a lot of rocks like you can see behind me I'm basically bouldering the first mile of this run and uh, you have to just remember that your heart rate is going to be all over the place um, you know your heart rate is is almost a function kind of of your pace and just as your pace is going to vary and swing wildly up and down when you're out here on uh, the trails, so is your heart rate. So if you're a runner that relies on heart rate training or zones, which I don't think are a great way to be training distance runners, but if that's the way that you do it, um, take that data with a grain of salt when it comes to uh, <clears throat> running on the trails because it doesn't mean as much as if you were on a uh, flat terrain, if you're on the road where your heart rate isn't going to be as variable. So you're gonna be able to get a lot more data out of that as opposed to out here <laughs> where you're boulder scrambling and running up extremely steep pitches trying to get to the summit of you know these kinds of uh, mountains out here in Colorado. So don't worry about pace, don't worry about heart rate, don't worry about distance. Instead, focus a little bit more time on your uh, the effort that you're running, the total time that you're running instead of the distance that you're running and also just uh, on how you feel rather than on your exact heart rate.